damn two cds game a blue and a red one this motherfucker doing big things you know not only did the game go around giving people like a thousand dollars a day as a way to promote his new album the documentary too which is of course a sequel to his debut album about 10 years ago the documentary not only did he give people like a thousand dollars you know pretty girls out on the street little kids just ran the people and he has celebrities helping him give it away like that fine ass la la anthony oh my sweet lord jesus but anyways ooh, carmella was so fucking lucky Lala looks so good. She just looks too good. But anyways, enough about Lala. Whew. Besides giving away money to promote his new double disc, the game also had a reality TV show come out called She Got Game. It aired for a handful of episodes. For some reason, it did not come on on Monday. So I have absolutely no idea what happened on September 21st of 2015. And why she got game did not air on VH1. I don't know. VH1, can you tell us why? But anyways, the game has a new double album coming out called The Documentary 2. The sequel to the original documentary about 10 years ago. So, if you want to know a little bit of information about it, here's what I found on social media. The game posted the album cover and he said, and I quote, Proud to announce to my fans the reason it took so long to get this album to you because it's a motherfucking double disc. In a world where labels punk artists to keep their albums down to 10 to 12 songs, I don't give a fuck. So because two of my favorite artists in Tupac and Notorious B.I.G. put out dope double albums, I figured 10 years into an iconic career, I'd give my fans the opportunity to have one for me. The reason one is a red bandana and a blue bandana is to bring awareness to the 100 days, 100 nights, and ongoing Crip and Blood epidemic that has plagued my city recently and in the past and really explains to the world how things like this occur and have occurred since 1970 when gangbanging was created in Los Angeles and its surrounding cities and hoods. The albums are very lyrical and descriptive as well as dope production, Wise and Dr. Dre approved. This is Aftermath. And I cannot wait till you guys get these albums. Disc one is available now for pre-order. Just click the link in my bio and will drop October 9th in stores and on iTunes. Disc two will be available shortly and will drop in stores and on iTunes the following week on October 16th. I put everything I had into making this album hashtag classic and I appreciate you guys for the love and support and definitely your patience with me completing this album. The game hashtag the documentary two. Wow. Epic message from a verbose rapper. The game. I'm hearing that Dr. Dre produced something on there. Timbaland, Scott Storch. Like he got all these big producers from like 10 years ago. He has all types of whack rappers rapping on it. Though. I was like, what the fuck? When I saw the list of people that were on, I was like, ew, that shit is doo doo. Who the fuck would put those corny motherfuckers on there? I mean, his guest appearances were shit. He should have got somebody cool on there, you know, somebody who can really rap like, you know, Proswell, You God. Let me see who else is just really amazing that he should have put on this album. Proswell, You God, Tony Ayo, and mm, who's a super lyricist? Maybe Macklemore. Yeah, that would have been hot. But anyways, the guest features that he got for this album were just so terrible that, you know, I don't even know what to say about it. But anyways... Are you going to buy the album? Do you want to hear it? Are you excited to hear it? Are you going to give it a chance? You know, I want to hear the production. I don't know about, you know, those featured artists that he put on there. They, they, I'm pretty sure they're going to ruin the album. They're just going to stink up the place. But the production is where the talent lies in this album. Let me know what you think about it all below. Be sure to subscribe to the Meat Magazine YouTube channels and visit meatmagazine.blogspot.com for more.